The Asian tiger mosquito, or Aedes albopictus, made an unwelcome appearance on the rock last summer, as first reported by GBC, with specimens of the distinctive black and white striped insect found in traps and snapped by photographers. Now two medical entomologists are working with the Environment Agency and the Health Authority to help identify and eliminate their habitats. We're here because uh, we're part of a uh, UK government funded project in building capacity and support in the overseas territories. So we've spent quite a bit of time this winter working in Caribbean overseas territories to build capacity for mosquito surveillance, advising on control. Uh, and we came here two years ago as part of a European funded project to initiate control with the environmental agency, uh, sorry, surveillance with the environmental agency for uh, the Asian tiger mosquito. And now, of course, we found it last year. So we're back as part of a, uh, a foreign office project to, to help build capacity. So we have some, some, low, some funds to fund traps and provide training. Well, we're very interested in where the Asian tiger mosquito uh, is found in Gibraltar. The species is an urban species, so it's one of, uh, yeah, it's one of urban environments. The um, eggs are laid in container habitats, so that's things like buckets, water butts places that fill up with rainwater rather than more natural habitats such as marshes. It's not, not a species that's found in, uh, in marsh habitats or uh, coastal areas. It's very much of our cities and our towns. So it's associated with uh, these sorts of habitats that you find in, in gardens or perhaps uh, catch basins under flower pots, that sort of thing. Over the past three decades, the tiger mosquito has spread to 28 countries in Europe, including Spain, where it's established. Unlike the mosquitoes we're used to, it bites during the day, and it can carry diseases like Zika, Dengue and Chikungunya. Last year, Italy saw an outbreak of Chikungunya, which causes fever and joint pain. But the disease has to be present in a population before it's spread by the mosquitoes. The mosquito has been in Europe now for 30 years. We still only have the occasional case and the occasional outbreak. So, you know, we have to put the risk in perspective. But we want to make sure, even from a nuisance point of view, that actually nobody wants to be sitting out on the terrace in summer and uh, their day ruined by biting mosquitoes. And one of the key things about this mosquito is actually we all have a responsibility to do something about it because often the mosquito that is biting us on our terrace or near our house, we're probably providing habitats for not so far away they don't fly very far themselves. So it's a challenge for any environmental health or an environmental agency to control. Uh, and you know, it's a real community effort to ensure that um, everybody's doing their bit. It's a bit early in the year for Aedes albopictus. These larvae, shown to me by local entomologist, Dr. Rian Guillem of the Botanic Gardens, are of two kinds of Culex mosquito, long established on the rock. But summer isn't far off. And the aim is to get Gibraltar informed and prepared for the return of the tigers.